Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for another week in the lovely United Kingdom where today we've got a brand new car to unlock. This is the Mazda RX-3. An awesome little JDM car with an amazing story that will tell you how insanely fast this thing was back in the day. I don't know what the customization is like, but we will also check that out. All we need to do is bang out 50% in the summer season. But as per usual, before we get into that, oh. Oh, mamma mia, you love to see it. The Apollo IE, but maybe even better, the GMC Typhoon. Off to the horizon backstage too. You give me a car that's gonna break down 24 seven versus this work of art. Are you kidding me? I guess with that out of the way, let's go bang out 50% in the summer. Whoa, 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 before we do get too far into today's video, we do need to thank the sponsor of today's video, The Ridge. The Ridge wallet is the wallet that is changing the wallet game. It is time to ditch your big, bulky, boring wallet for one of these. It can hold up to 12 of your cards plus room for cash. And with Father's Day right around the corner, they make the perfect gift. If you head over to the Ridge website now, they've got a gift guide set up to help you find the perfect wallet for your dad. They come in over 30 different designs and styles. This one here is the Forged Ember, which is super, super cool. Probably my favorite one. So go check out the Ridge wallet, click the link in my description, and don't forget to use code AR12 for 10% off. Thank you so much to The Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. Let's go. 50% completed. The Mazda RX3 is officially ours. This car has 110 horsepower, 100 foot pounds of torque. It weighs basically nothing, just 2,000 pounds out of a little 1.1 liter rotary engine. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. What a cool looking car. Anyways, though, before we do any Mazda RX-3 customization, I do want to give this thing a go bone stock. This wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about the little Mazda RX-3. So I've already spoken about in a previous video how this is kind of the car that really popularized the, the rotary engine for Mazda. And because of this car, you have things like the Mazda RX-7, the Mazda RX-8, the 787B, and so on. What you probably don't know about this car, though, is way back in the 1970s, in the Japanese Touring Car Championship, Nissan was absolutely ripping it up with the Nissan Skyline. You know how people oftentimes say, oh, Mercedes in Formula One is super OP, or Ferrari back in the day was super OP. Fun fact, the longest winning streak for a driver in Formula One was nine races, and that was absurd. The Nissan Skyline back in the 1970s was so OP, they, they won nearly 50. Yeah, five zero races in a row. However, I say nearly because came along the little Mazda RX-3 who said no. Later on ripped up the Japanese Touring Car Championship and won for like three or four seasons in a row after that. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Mazda RX-3 greater than Nissan Skyline. In terms of Forza Horizon, we're nearly at the bottom of D-Class, so we should be able to get some really, really good upgrades onto this car, which should be fantastic as well, because like I said, this is a Mazda at the end of the day. We're gonna have some really good four rotor or three rotor or rotary engine swap. Bone stock though, not bad at all. We got the dub on the hardest difficulty in the game. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so obviously bone stock, we've got our 1.1 liter rotary engine with 110 horsepower. We can upgrade to a 1.6 turbo rally engine. Please don't let me down. Yes! Everybody's favorite dentist drill. The four rotor is here. 
with nearly 700 horsepower. We have to ask ourselves, what do we actually want to do with this car? I'm thinking because it's fairly light, I feel like it'll be pretty good as a race car in B or A class. Twitch chat is saying we should start things off with an A class race car build. So I don't actually know if we're gonna swap our four rotor engine in right yet. Ooh, we got a little Mazda rear lip, okay. Or the little like, okay, more lip. Although, although the Mazda lip actually makes my car worse, what's more important, looking good or winning a race? In terms of our tire compound, we've got stock, street, sport, race, horizon race, rally tires, and drag tires. Why does this thing not have vintage race tires? Again, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video if, oh. Those are the worst engine spacers I think I've ever seen. Okay, those are a little bit better. The rear one's a thousand times better. Even after all of those upgrades, we're still D-class without doing any power upgrades. We're gonna keep this thing rear wheel drive, obviously. But let's see if I get some better brakes. All right, look at my braking performance. That's insane. Let's also go for some suspension. All of your usual stuff. That is beautiful. And then we can even get drift suspension. Oh my god. Whoever did the suspension for this car, I would like to buy you a beer. That is the nicest looking car I've seen in this game in a very long time. If we do want to upgrade this engine... If we upgrade our rotor, yeah, this thing's gonna have no horsepower. All right, say goodbye to the stock engine. That is not the answer. Say hello to the four rotor. This thing is dope. We've got the restrictor plates, which don't even make our class go up. What? So I think I'm gonna die because I've had to remove my race brakes. I've got 718 horsepower. I, I, I have no brakes. I have no weight reduction. I don't have very much grip. I'm in danger. And once again, the car colors from the 1970s have struck again. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's go. So. Yeah, so this thing just isn't gonna drive properly. If I'm able to overtake one person, I'm gonna count that as a success. But I think for this car to actually be good, I think I'm gonna need to be an S1 class. I'm on race suspension and grippy tires. If you were ever wondering how a Mazda RX-3 goes down a straight, this is how. Like, this is actually the fastest way to drive this car with these upgrades. Like, don't at me. I do see you at your keyboard right now saying, oh, just throttle control. No you. A very famous philosopher once said back in the day, power! I think we can all agree that I've officially ruined the Mazda RX-3 and uh, now is my time to fix it because that has not gone well. So I think we can all agree again all-wheel all, all drive, um, that does drastically affect the class level. I'm also- wait, what? I was on race tires? Who would have ever guessed that a car from 1973 could actually be S2 class? Part two of trying to tame the Mazda RX-3. We weigh 1,900 pounds, 720 horsepower. How hard could it be? I'm gonna be back in one second. I need a rear wing. I may have cheated a little bit. I may or may not be S2 class. We'll just gloss over that though, because I would like to be able to go around the corner. Come on, Mazda RX-3. Oh, a thousand times better off the line. Oh, it's so much better. Into the corner. Look at that. Look at that. It slows down and it goes. Okay. Can we get all of these other things out of my way? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, don't worry about that corner. But that is P1 by the end of the lap. All right, that guy wasn't very happy, clearly. That is what I'm talking about. That is a maxed out Mazda RX-3. This thing 
is so fast. Obviously, this thing's not gonna be OP in Forza Horizon 4, but maybe it is OP in like the sports classic class. I don't know. I haven't even been going that try hard and you can barely even see the AI behind. That thing is just unbelievable. Look at the lap time. Like, they're, they're still not done. They're six seconds slower than me. As it turns out, you might need to cheat and actually go up to S2 class and use a rear wing, which some people might say ruins the car. But back to the festival. I guess we're doing this. I kind of want to come over here. 220,000 points is my personal best. This is the drift zone that we tried out last week. Let's see if I can take down that personal best. Just spawn a bunch of traffic in my way game. I appreciate that. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's see how much you can push it. It doesn't have that much horsepower, so I guess it shouldn't be that good at this drift zone. It's, it's definitely struggling that little bit for sure. Well, oh. yeah, this is not the drift zone for the Mazda RX-3, but it's not bad. That definitely has some potential. It is so lightweight. You can whip it through corners. My personal best here is 127,000. I don't expect this car to be able to beat that, but let's try. Ah! I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. Come on. Let's go. Yo, that's pretty good. That's really, really good. 114,000 points for a very mediocre drift run. That is not bad. Come on. All right, there we go. It may struggle at the whole points thing, but that's pretty cool. I think what we've learned today for the little Mazda RX-3 is that it is a very, very difficult car to drive. But if you can handle it, you can definitely get some good results. Not to mention the fact that it looks so damn cool.